Hi, Francisco. Um, when contributing to Jumpstart Drops, a lot of questions are around licensing and how that works. What licensing do I need to assign to my code and how do we check for this? So can you explain that to me? Hey, Thomas. Yeah, that's a great question. And, um, you know, when we created Jumpstart Drops, our philosophy was exactly the same as, you know, all the other kind of Jumpstart products, which is like, we're fully open source, right? And we'll try, right, that, is, that all our products have the same kind of MIT licensing. And you know we're really strict when it comes to submitting the drops and what's the licensing, and we do have a strict check that every drop right has an MIT license. If it's including data, also we have an open source license for data. Let's say if you have a, a model, right, or you have some kind of, and you need to put the data as part of the drop, that data have, needs to have a CDLA 2.0 a license. So I'll just go ahead and show you, right? It's, it's just part of our documentation, and we put this as part of you know the drop kind of disclaimer is that. Basically, every jumpstart drop needs to be right uh, under you know it needs to be published under an MIT license. Um, if it has data, it needs to have you know the CDLA 2.0 license, um, and and also right if there's any kind of third party component right if you're just adding any tool in there, you must comply with the licenses of those specific components. Let's say you have uh, a Python code that has any particular library. Well, you know we will make sure right you know, that that has this specific kind of uh, licensing also. Um, and when it comes to what are the checks that we're doing, right? Every time you know a drop is created, you know, and there's a lot, ton of kind of information on how this this is you know a drop is published. Basically, this is a pull request that gets added right into the jumpstart drops repository. And there we have multiple different checks through pipelines, not only for the content but also right for the licensing. So if I'm gonna go ahead and just show you here, right, that we have this. Uh, it was a drop submission. Uh, it's called use Azure Monitor Agent in you know, order to uh, for Windows Arc enabled servers, and you can see that one of the one of the kind of checks that is running is the validation of the, of the uh, kind of uh, yeah, JSON file. And as you can see here, we'll validate right, make sure you know all change list all the kind of JSON schema files, validate the JSON is correct, validate the source repo right, make sure you know the content has is everything's fine. But in particular, you can see here that we actually check for the MIT license. And you can see, right, it's this is in particular under the Azure Jumpstart Drops repository, right? And this kind of repository has a license, and that license is an MIT license. So if I go ahead and check here, you're gonna see here that is an MIT license. And in order, right, in order to succeed this check, it must have an MIT license. And if it's not, it's gonna gonna fail, and we're not gonna accept that kind of drop publishing. 